Hello, my name's Tony Porter and I'm standing as your independent candidate in the Pemberton area for the 5th of May 2020 election. Now, a lot of you don't know who I am uh, and a lot of you know who the other people are who are standing. Um, but this is an introduction really uh, and it's also going to show you the leaflet. I've been walking around uh, delivering leaflets and uh, done about 40 kilometres in four days. Got very sore feet. Met a lot of people though, and it's all been very positive, so I appreciate that. Um, I did review uh, Councillor Prescott's um, leaflet. Um, well, say review. Um, talked about it, including the copy and paste, uh, stick a picture in where you look, uh, you know, miserable about the litter and all that kind of stuff. So I've done that. So it's only fair that I show you my leaflet which is this one here. Now, uh, 5th of May, Tony Porter, Independent Local Election, Pemberton Ward. This is your once in a generation, maybe lifetime opportunity for the whole of Wigan. I'll explain what I mean by that. At the moment, we've got a lot of changes going on in Wigan. We've got the uh, proposed demolition of the galleries to build flats, a cinema, hotel, um, a bowling alley, and an indoor golf course um, with Chinese money, which let's be honest, is not the most reliable source of money so it worries me a lot on many levels that we're going to end up if the actual money runs out or the sanctions against china for whatever reason uh, we are going to end up with absolutely no town center whatsoever and just a massive hall or a half demolition place or whatever if you watch my wig and watch videos on the playlist on this channel uh, you'll see that i've been to a few places where things have not progressed very well and in nottingham in particular it's a disaster, so have a look at them if you get a chance. Anyway, it's time to make a change. I, for once, have had enough of the labour destruction of our town and its heritage. Time to use common sense, ask the people what they want, and tell those in power uh, they need to change. Vote for me for a totally new era in politics in Wigan. Now, one person cannot make a change, cannot make a difference. But, oh yes, they can. When I be defeat Councillor Prescott, I'm going to send shockwaves all the way through the Labour Party. They are going to have to think that, hang on a minute, people don't like what we're doing. As I say later on in here, Councillor Prescott is behind quite a lot of the stuff that's going on at the moment in Wigan that's affecting everybody, including the town centre, including the clean air zone, etc. More of that in a moment. So, pledges. What I pledge to you people um, is regular meetings every fortnight or so at different times and different places. So it's not the same time, same place, I'm going to do it different places, so I might do it in a pub one week, uh, in a fortnight, I might do it in a cafe, I might do it at a church, whatever. Just wherever we can meet people and you can have a chance, because you might be working, you know, every Thursday, every other week, you might not be able to make it anywhere. So different days, different times, different places. That m means I hopefully I can see all of you or a lot of you and we can discuss what we need for the ward. Uh, donate up 12. Uh, excluding legitimate expenses of my income from the council to worthy causes in the ward. So an example of that would be um, maybe an old people's home paying for some entertainment for them um, or giving some money to a food bank um, or helping a nursery that needs new equipment, that kind of thing. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the people of Wigan. I'm doing this for a reason and that reason is I want to make a difference. Um, speak to Kraft Heinz regarding their decision not to invest in Kit Green. I know there's more to it than that, but it would be nice to set up a dialogue with them and actually see what's going on. Ask questions as to why our proud heritage energy providing history is not involved with the green future energies, for example, hydrogen or solar power. Why don't we invite big companies to come into the uh, Wigan area and actually invest in Wigan and give jobs to our people of these up and coming industries that are everywhere at the moment. We, are, we haven't got any in Wigan that I'm aware of. Um, attempt to stop the redevelopment of the galleries, uh, stop building of cycle lanes. Now, cycle lanes, they're everywhere at the moment and they are expensive. Doesn't matter where the money's coming from, they are expensive. If those were bus lanes, cycles could still use them, but buses could use them and taxis could use them. At the moment, we're getting gridlock everywhere where these cycle lanes seem to be going in. And what's happening in the buses and the taxis are getting caught there and they're the ones pumping out most of the emissions. So what we need to do is get them flowing through the town. So get rid of the cycle lanes, put bus lanes in, cycles can still use them, buses and taxis can use them as well. Better value for money, better for the environment, better for Wigan. Um, 
question road strategies well there's a whole video on that um, again on Wigan watch uh, where I just talk about what is going on with the road strategies it's like feels like that the council is trying to strangle some of the businesses in town for the sake of cycle lanes that are not being used um, be proud of our remaining heritage and work hard to save what is left for future generations there's not a lot I'll be honest uh, the galleries is particularly the clock tower it is a an iconic uh, building um, so we do need to do something with it other than flatten it to build flats um, combat antisocial behavior now yeah this is he goes on for this um, we've got a clean up and then we've got fly tipping uh, there and then we've got dog foul in there for me it's one line it's not even one line it's from combat antisocial behavior from littering dog fouling that is it because everyone puts that on their thing everyone puts it on every time because no one does anything about it or when they do they only do it for example when it's election time uh, councillor prescott uh, looking at these uh, rubbish here and then look at it taken away brilliant but look at that stuff's been there for ages grass does not go that color that quickly so that's been abandoned and it's only been done because it's election time we need a, a task force of say two people in a van going round to known hot spots looking for stuff like that and just tidying it up because if we leave rubbish where it is more rubbish attracts rubbish have you seen the Labour Council? No, joking. Anyway, uh, combat antisocial behaviour. So, um, I'm adding vehicle speeding in residential areas. Uh, look at ways to stop fly tipping, which I've, I've just explained, including maybe having somewhere for builders to put stuff in one place. And then rather than having to go around with big vans to pick up rubble and TV stands and wardrobes and mattresses, they're all in one place. We can deal with them there rather than go all over the ward, all over the uh, Wigan Borough. Uh, and make sure a minimum are of 50% of all houses built from now on um, are within reach of our children, as in price-wise, um, to get them onto the property ladder. ladder. Local affordable housing for local people. Um, maybe affordable housing, you can only get affordable housing in Wigan if you went to school, primary school, in Wigan. Um, it gives our kids and kids who've lived here their entire life, regardless of where, they, where the parents are from, an opportunity to get property without being gazumped by someone coming in from out of town or your rich families down the road kind of thing. So it makes it fair for everyone. Uh, about me, uh, all the stuff I do, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know most of that anyway. Uh, clean Air Zone, CAS. Um, Wigan is not initially on the list for the CAS. I'm doing a separate video on this. But, uh, yeah, basically, Councillor Prescott and the other cabinet members uh, forced us into it. Um, again, I'm going to do more on this. Um, there was a council meeting the other week, uh, which I'm going to do a breakdown of for you, which I'll do in the future as well for every council meeting. Um, and then we've got the uh, Wigan Town Centre uh, redevelopment. Um, and I've put on here the uh, market traders, for example. I mean, I was a, a, a retailer within the galleries in fact my shop is where is it it's there that's my shop there not anymore uh, i've been kicked out as has everyone else uh, every shop now in the galleries is empty uh, the only thing that's left is the market and that's going to stay for two years but all the way around it is going to be a building site and demolition site i say two years it's probably going to be longer than that because things generally take a little bit longer than what people anticipated um retailers shops got no financial help whatsoever in um, relocating, uh, no advice, not just me, independent, niggly niggly, doing Wigan Watch videos, upsetting the council, sorry, um, but also the big companies as well, which is why a lot of the big high street names have gone from uh, the galleries and not reappeared anywhere else because of the way they were treated. I spoke to the managers, I spoke to area managers. They wouldn't go on record, but they were not happy with the way they were being dealt with by the council. So we've lost a lot of jobs and we've lost a lot of reasons to come to Wigan and it is worrying now that all oh, we've got is Standish Gate, uh, the Grand Arcade and then a few little bits and pieces just off and that is it, that's your entire town centre now. 
for a population. I know that you've got Atherton and Lee and all that kind of stuff, but a population of over 300,000 people should have more uh, in a town centre. Uh, don't get me wrong, I've never said, and it says here, I've never ever said that Wigan Town Centre is perfect. I've never said that we don't need to do something with the galleries. We do need to do something with the galleries, um, but we don't necessarily need to use Chinese money and we don't necessarily need to knock it down. We don't need to build 400 flats with 200 parking spaces, a cinema, a bowling alley, uh, indoor golf course and a hotel with very, very small amount of paid um, for parking spaces, if any at all, considering all the residents. Um, the market traders are being left where they are for two years. Um, in that two years, in 12 months time, and then I assume 12 months afterwards, if they can show that their um, um, money uh, has gone down, their takings, their profits have gone down uh, by showing the books to the council, um, then they can get up to 30% rent reduction in arrears, which is nice, isn't it? Not really. Um, a lot of them have actually quit now. There's a lot of stalls that have actually shut, including, um, I think, um, the key cutter. I think he's took a retirement because he's not been open for the last couple of days. Uh, and he did say he was, he was giving up and going. So basically, oh, hang on. What I'm saying is, lend me your vote for this election. Um, we can defeat the clauses that is Councillor Paul Prescott and send a clean message to all on the Labour-controlled council that we want change. Let them know not one of them is safe. They're all up again in 12 months' time, including whoever wins this election. Um, but that's good because this gives them a warning shot. It gives them 12 months to get their heads sorted and to actually make a difference in the way they act, particularly the Labour, well, only the Labour Party. Your Conservative councillors and your independent councillors seem to be there for the right reasons. Um, I could, I'd be happy to work with all of them. Uh, Labour I want to work with, and I wouldn't necessarily vote against everything Labour say, because some of the stuff they do is good, but some of the stuff they do is so bad. I mean, how much heritage over the decades have they destroyed, uh, which could have been made into a museum, a tourist attraction, or um, a novelty area. I mean, people, towns and cities, they really, really, really grab hold of their history. And that's what makes them. You know, you go to York, it's all about the Romans. It's all about the um, fabulous uh, cathedral. It's about Harry Potter Street. Uh, you know, they've got all these different things going on. People want to go there. I'm not saying we're York, far from it. But we did have a lot of stuff that was worth looking at in Wigan and worth people travelling to, and it's all gone. And it's just all being taken away all the time. And we need to put a stop to it. So, on May the 5th, 2022, protest, vote, but vote for me. Now, if you vote Conservative and you vote Liberal Democrat, I've got nothing against either of the two uh, people standing because I've never met them. I have no idea who they are. They might be great. But we're not going to get enough votes to defeat, defeat Paul Prescott if we split the vote between the, the Tory, the Lib Dem and me. Now, a lot of people in Wigan have told me they would never, ever vote uh, Conservative whatsoever. Lib Dems, yeah, who are they, kind of thing. Um, so there's me. So even if it's just for one year, put that cross next to Tony Porter, independent, and let's make a change. Let's make a difference. Uh, I'm truly independent, and I am truly, truly a different choice because I want to communicate with you people I want to I want you to be part of the running and, and the the whole council we need to open the council up to people and see what they want rather than have it dictated to and literally bulldoze through anyway um, that's it for this video there are more to come so it's worth subscribing to the channel um, None of these adverts, uh, none of these adverts, none of these uh, videos for the election have adverts on them. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not doing them to make money, uh, but other videos within the uh, YouTube world on this channel do have adverts on them, but just bear with them. Do give Wigan Watch a look as well. Um, I put a couple of Wigan Watch ones in the playlist for the election, um, including reactions of the market traders 
after a meeting they had uh, a couple of months ago and a few other bits and pieces as well but yeah have a hunt around have a look at the wig and watch have a look at more of these click the subscribe button uh, and let's make a change thank you very much